Okay, we have an example for time rates. Water is flowing into a vertical cylindrical tank at the rate of 24 cubic feet per minute. If the radius of the tank is 4 feet, how fast is the surface rising? So if you are going to look at the figure, we have here a cylindrical tank. Water is flowing inside the cylindrical tank at a rate of 24 cubic feet per minute. You will know that is a volume if your unit here is in cubic. So, 24 cubic feet per minute, that is the rate of the water that is flowing inside per unit time. So, therefore, that is dB dt. So, as the water increases inside the cylindrical tank, of course, the height of the water will increase. But then, the radius of the water inside the cylindrical tank will never change even though there is an increase of water inside the tank. So therefore, we will consider 4 as constant. And what is changing at any time is the height of the water. So, the formula that we are going to consider here, what is the volume of water inside the cylindrical tank? So the volume of the water that follows this, the form of the cylindrical tank. So therefore, the formula of the volume of the water that is equal to pi r squared times height. Wherein pi r squared times height, that is the formula of the volume of a cylindrical tank. Because the water inside the cylindrical tank is the same form as its container okay so volume is equal to pi r squared times height so we are going to look at based on the formula what is constant and what is changing so if you are going to look at here even though there is an increase of water inside the cylindrical tank but then the radius of the water will remain the same so therefore radius here which is equal to 4 feet that is constant well, the height of the water, the height of the water will change accordingly as the water increases inside the tank. So, therefore, you are going to substitute the, vol the value of the radius, which is equal to 4 feet times height. So, therefore, volume is equal to 16 pi times height. So, after that one, we are going to find the derivative both sides. So, based on the formula, you will have d, d, t. Okay. So, therefore, d, b, dt is equal to 16 pi dh dt. Okay. So, based on that, we are solving for how fast is the surface rising. So, we are solving for dh dt. So, to solve for dh dt, so, cross multiply dh dt that is equal to db dt over 16 pi. That is cross multiplication. So, substitute the values. Okay, substitute the values, so you will have where dvdt is equal to 24 cubic feet per 
minute so substitute dh dt is equal to 24 divided by 16 pi so your answer will be 0 0.477 feet per minute so this is your answer so, so that is our first example